welcome to the show. Today, we're going to talk about how to market yourself as a speaker. So if you're looking to find ways to gain more traction and vice versa, get people attracted to you, then this is the right place. So glad you're here. Today, we're going to really dive deep into this topic. But first, of course, a little speaker wisdom. Now, I went to an event uh, this week that had like 3,000 people there. It was a huge event. It was a huge event where people from all over the nation came to uh, connect with other business owners in a certain industry. And it was, it could have been very overwhelming. However, I had a strategy. Prior to the event, you know, we, uh, my partner and I, we looked at the website, looked at the event, found out who was going to be there. They actually had a a map, so we were able to print out the map and really strategically target those companies that we absolutely had to uh, meet and get in front of. And so we did that prior to the event happening, and that helped us to really laser target our focus to be able to talk to and get in front of the people that we wanted to talk to. Now, I see that's where a lot of people fall off. And I spoke to a lot of members there and they were just so overwhelmed because this event was so huge. What they didn't do is they failed to prepare. Uh, and so uh, they didn't have a strategy when they, when they arrived. And so they weren't able to really get the benefits of the event. So that's extremely important when you're networking. Remember, I always talk about how networking is really how you're going to grow. It's how you're going to expand your business, how you're going to get your name known uh, in the industry and, and doing that multiple times, not just one time, over and over and over again is going to allow you to really be seen and noticed and um, within the people that you're trying to target. So that's going to be vitally important to your growth and to your expansion in any field. Now, there's another thing I kind of want to talk about within this speaker wisdom, and that is really getting outside of your comfort zone. There's another event I went to the next day uh, that was more local, but again, it was a huge event. Uh, when I got there a little early, they had what's called a business spotlight like speaker panel where business owners signed up previously, and I didn't know about this previously to stand in front of a group of other business owners and tell them a little bit more about their business and and how they help other business owners you know exceed or or solve a pain point or problem well there were 25 people signed up and some people weren't there they didn't show up so they had a couple of spots available and I said wow this is my opportunity to you know stand up in front of hundreds of people and showcase my business. Now, many years prior, if you know me, there's no way in the world <laughs> I would have taken up that opportunity. But in this situation, I was prepared. I went through my presentation in my head, put my name in the hat. They called my name in business. I stood up there. I showcase, you know, what I can do for them, what my business can do for them, how I can best serve them, who I am, what I'm all about, and where to connect with me afterwards. And I've been doing this over and over and over again throughout the years, but I was really put to the test at that very moment when it mean, meant so much to me. Now, realistically, I could have stayed home, not went anywhere could have stayed in my comfy house not went to this event it always too far away but because i made the effort went there spoke at the business spotlight uh, people started coming to me um, as i went to throughout the the trade show that they had there uh, people were recognizing me hey you're one of the the business spotlight members and your business is, you know, does this training or, or coaching. I say, yes, great. Well, I'm being recognized in the industry. So that was very important. Previously, I would not have broken out of my shell, would not have gotten out of my comfy chair 
and did that. And so I want you to get out more. That's what this is all about. That's why you're here. Uh, is to get the encouragement from me, hopefully, uh, to step outside your comfort zone, do the things that are daring, do the things that you would never have thought of before, but do, do certain things that create an impact that's going to push the needle forward, push you forward, get you known, get you more visible, showcase your credibility. You don't think I told them everything I'm about confidently? Absolutely, I did. I want you to go to these networking events and have so much confidence with laser targeted focus that people come to you. And what that does is it takes a lot of effort off of yourself when people actually come to you and want to know more about how you can serve them. And so continue to do the work. Continue to go. At first, it's going to be a little uneasy, but that's okay. Continue and continue to continue to get in front of the people who mean uh, more to you and your business. It's just going to help to bring a business to you. It's going to collaborate with you who uh, may need your products and services. What I also found is because I've been doing the work, I've been doing the work and going to places where my target market is. I was surprised to see that people immediately recognized me when I was walking down the hallway. Important people, important industries. I'm like, ah, okay, well, I'm doing something right here. You know, they're recognizing my name. They know me. They, they immediately, you know, push other people aside to come up to me, answer my questions first, give me a hug. And, and they're super servant and wanting to help me to succeed. And so I want that for you. This is just some of the things that can happen when you become daring, when you push the fear aside and continue, continue to continue to move forward, right? And do the things that you need to do to help your company and you succeed. So we're gonna go over how to market yourself as an expert. And there's so many different things that uh, encompass that. Hopefully I'm gonna go over some things a little bit specific today. Uh, you may have heard me talk about these before, but these are vitally important. Maybe I can show you a different angle on how you can make these happen to gain the exposure that you need to create in order to create a successful, successful organization. And the first is your website, your branding, your website. And people say websites are dead now. That may be the case, but people still today will review your website, even though they looked at your social media. And so social media presence is extremely important as well. But having a website that's, you know, it's a, it's a like a whole city. It's all about you, a virtual city that talks all about you, the products that you serve, that's your storefront, right? Your homepage, that's your house. Uh, things that you've done in the community, things that you've done with other with other companies, that's your community. So your website is your is your city, right? And that city is all about you. Your name is on that city. Just think about that. So that's really where people are going to go to find out more about you. I cannot tell you how many people have told me that they've extensively, extensively checked me out, extensively reviewed my background, my presence to find out more about me before hiring me. And one of the things that they always look at is my website. So yes, social media is great. Continue to post, uh, send out videos, uh, respond to other people on a daily basis, but also have a presence that's all yours. Because if social media goes away tomorrow, you still own your website and you can still brand and sell from your website. And so that's vitally important. Now, the next thing is the demo reel. And we've talked about that a little bit. What, but what a demo reel is that showcases you in action. For instance, if someone's looking for an expert or a speaker, a presenter, they want to know that you can actually do the job, that you're professional, that you have a great presence, that you're dynamic in front of their audience, 
and that your message serves the audience and you're able to deliver it effectively. And your demo reel showcases that. It doesn't have to be long. However, it does have to be vitally important professional. It can't just be something you recorded on stage somewhere without an audience. Um, if you want a connection to someone who can help you to create a video reel, contact me. I have a couple of great friends who do this uh, continuously throughout the year. And so hopefully that can help you. But creating your, it's called a speaker, speaker reel or a demo reel, but blast that baby everywhere on your website, sending out, uh, sending out when you're sending out proposals on your social media over and over and over and over again. Showcase what you do in your webinar, showcase. And don't be bashful for doing that. This is you. When I first really started, you know, opening up and, and, and being more confident and bold in what I, I, I do, one compelling reason that allowed me to do that was when I looked at other, I'd say gurus or experts or, you know, highly successful people in my industry. And I thought to myself, why am I ashamed to show people, you know, what I do? I feel like I'm bragging or feel like I'm just boasting on some things, you know, things that I've done. But if you look at them, they have no shame, no shame in blasting out everything uh, that they do all the time over and over and over again. What they're doing is they're getting attraction. They know the secret of, of, this, of this game. I didn't know the secret yet. So the secret is to showcase everything. When you think about it, you, what I was thinking was that Oh, people are going to get tired of me. People are going to see the same thing over and over and over again. But realistically, there's so many different channels. And not everyone's going to see every single thing that you post out on in the virtual world. And there's over 4 billion people on social media. That's just social media alone. Some people don't even go to social media. Maybe just go to your website. Okay, so it's billions of people to use the internet. And so it's to your advantage to send out all of your marketing material over and over and over again and showcase what you do and do not be ashamed of it. Over and over and over and over again. Now, next is your professional branding. And now, one thing that was taught to me when I first started uh, really gaining the visibility in my business as a speaker and as a professional is that people buy from people who have good quality. If you're creating these hodgepodge posts and, and images and posting them out there, and but you want to be a paid speaker, the two don't go hand in hand, right? It's like someone who is interviewing for a job and came to the interview like with dirty clothes on, their hair was disheveled, looked like they just woke up in the morning and they didn't clean their car, the car is clunky and, and, and dirty and they haven't cleaned it in a year, but they want a executive position and they're interviewing for an executive position. They're not looking pre prepared. They don't have a notebook. They don't have a, I don't know, a, a tote or a briefcase or they haven't researched the company at all. They just look and they just walked in. You look like an amateur because if you're really a professional, you know that all those things are going to be well put together and planned out prior to getting there so that you show up at your best. And so your branding is just as important. Showing up as your best with your colors, with consistency throughout your platforms, with your messaging, all those things are encompass your branding. And so hopefully I've helped you to understand the importance of putting out very good 
quality and really taking the time to find out who you stand for, what you stand for, how best you can serve and doing that consistently throughout. Now, my clients, the ones who are doing a very great job are those who are consistent. Those who do not do the work do not get the results. And so doing the work consistently, even when no one is looking. Listen, I remember starting out, when I first started out, I had no one in my webinars. I had no one on my Facebook page. Now I'm doing these videos. I'm just talking to a green dot. Excited, but talking to a green dot. Nobody was there. But over time, I'm doing it over and over and over again. I became known in this industry and I'm still growing because I'm still consistent. Listen, I haven't even touched the surface of this world. There's so many more people who do not know about me. And so I have to keep doing the things that's gonna gain the attraction to get enough people into my business that I can help and serve them and help them take their lives, their business, their message to the next level. And so if you want the same, do the work, do the work. Now, if you want help in this, in, in this um, area, make sure that you contact me. I have a program out called Speak to Riches, uh, which is a comprehensive program that really helps guide you from beginning to end on how not to be seen as an amateur, but really be seen as uh, an expert who showcases what they do and who is ready to get paid for their services paid, highly paid for the service. And I'm here to help you do it back from my over 20 years experience. But I want to help you. There's so much more in, in, to this than speaking in front of people. There's so much more, so much more that you probably don't know that I can help guide you and lead you to understanding how this business works and how to do it effectively with laser targeted focus. And so that is today's topic of how to market yourself as a speaker. I'm going to give you some insights and tips on how to do that very effectively. Now, if you need more help in this area, make sure you contact me. You can go to my website, my website at bcmbelove.com or go straight to the Speak to Riches page, find out more about that program, sign up, get connected with me, and let's go. And that's speaktoriches.com. But we're not ending so quickly. You know I'm going to see you the same time next week. And so make sure that you connect and stay connected to the Be Seen, Be Loved TV show on Win Win Women. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Much love and success. Bye for now. Are you a professional struggling to speak confidently in front of others? Do you have trouble giving presentations or leading teams? Are you finding it difficult to sell to clients? At Be Seen Beloved, we understand the challenges you face. That's why we're here to help. With our expert guidance and training, you'll gain the confidence you need to excel in your business and career. Whether you're looking to lead groups, speak to larger audiences, or train people in your corporation, we can help. Our unique approach will not only improve your business connections and increase your income, but it will also lead to a happier and more fulfilled life. So why wait? Take the first step towards success and visit us at www.bassinebeloved.com today.